Good morning, my exploring fans. Good morning. Tom and Julie here. We're off on another mission. We're going up into these mountains right behind that yucca plant. Looking for a few mines. There's several up in there. Haven't really been around there before, so I'm not sure what to expect, but we're going to find out. So what do you say? Let's go. Here's a water tank. I'm guessing it's probably for stock. There are some cattle operations out here. I see half of a windmill wheel up there. Let's go look at that. Some remnants of the mining activity around here. Oh, this is an old mill. A round circular mill. Yeah, some nice rocks around here, aren't they? Yeah. This looks like it was stuff that would have been wanting to be milled. Look at that. Isn't it? Yeah, this all looks like it was ore that could have been milled. I believe this is a Chilean mill. And there's some sort of a mount here that had an engine of some sort. And I believe these were vertical shafts. This is a waste pump from a vertical shaft. There's a, an equipment pad there, maybe a hoist or some other generator or air compressor. Let's go up on top of the waste pump and see what we see. Looks like there were some copper related minerals. I think these were primarily gold mines, but of course they had other, there was silver, lead, and copper involved too at one point. Here's the shaft. Here's what's left of the windmill. She kind of fell apart. So as the windmill turned, it would have taken that rotational energy and turned it into a, an up and down motion and pulled that swab through this pipe to pump water up this this pipe that goes down into this well or this cistern there's no water down there now and then it would have run out that black pipe down to that water trough so there is a little ladder here and it only goes down maybe 15 feet the pit does the well is probably driven deeper into the ground. Look at that old relic. Whack that on a rock and knock some of that stuff off there, see what it is. That is one old piece of chain. Yeah. We are leaving the uh, road here going up what used to be a railroad track and it's still a railroad grade but it looks like the track has been removed this goes about a mile or a mile and a half up to a vertical shaft i believe so let's check it out see what we find up here should be fun there's a nice hedgehog cactus a lot of nice desert flora out here of choyas and yuccas and there's some barrel cactus around. Cacti, I guess. We're a little low for Joshua trees, but there may be some higher up. They generally don't start until around a 2,000 foot elevation, I believe. Probably varies a little bit from region to region, but that's generally what they like is a little, not real low. Well, there's a pretty darn nice pint bottle. Looks like it just got set down there last week. 
There's the other side. Full half pint, it says. Anything on the bottom? Oh, it's that, um... It's the Owens... Yeah. Illinois? Yeah. Uh... There's a two and a four. And a ten. So the the right number indicates the date. I believe those are 44. Wow, what a morning. It's about 9.30, 10 o'clock. But hardly any wind. So I guess we're not going up this canyon. I see that the uh, the ra railroad crosses here and goes up that other side. So that's where we're going. Getting into some nice barrels here. One there, nice one right here. Look pretty healthy. Wow, there's a pretty nice wash tub. Not even rusted too, of course, somebody couldn't resist shooting a few holes in it. Other than that, it's pretty good shape. Might have been a little camp here, it's a little flat spot. There were a few cans back this way. So let's continue on. There's another piece of metal over there. Boy, nice prickly pear specimen there. Nothing's been eating it. It's not dry. Awesome. Here's a piece of lumber. It's a good sign. Looks like our old railroad grade is turning up this way. We should be getting fairly close to the mine. But look at all the cacti out there. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, we have Found the waste rock pile. Well, we came all the way up here and we were on the map, it said it was gonna be a shaft and lo and behold, it's a portal, horizontal working. So now we're gonna have to dig it out a little bit and uh, try to get in. So Tom's got our little shovel. I carried the 150 foot of rope for nothing. <laughs> carried all our rope gear up here. That's okay, builds character. Yes, it does. At least there's soft sand over here. Yeah, we need to dig in so far. Yeah. I hope it's open once we get it dug out. Yeah. It well. Okay. well, it looks like it's open. I can shine a light in there and see a, a drift. Do a little more digging and we'll get in there. Hey, sounds good. They used to call me the badger. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> oh, let's get that off you. Yeah. Youch. Oh, wait, I didn't get it. Youch. I got the boss digging. She's giving me a break. I don't think they nicknamed her the Badger. She's a pretty good worker though, when she wants to be. All right, Tom shoveled out enough to get through. You gonna come? Yeah. All right. I'll be right behind you. It says something on the wood up there. I can't quite read it. Yeah, we're coming in through a rat's nest. Oh, huh, great. Sorry.
Well, I made it into the portal. Here comes Julie. She's grunting her way in here. <laughs> it's not so bad. It's just all the little stickers. The rats bring in the uh, choya. The pieces of choya to guard their nest. And this whole thing is kind of a big rat's nest here. And then you end up crawling through with them and you get them all over you. I kind of push the nest out of the way a little bit. It's all this stuff here. She's in. Here you go ahead, Julie. Some nice timbering here. I see some miners graffiti up there. John. Marcelli. Marcel. Marcel. John Marcel. No year. Oh, Jesus. That don't look bad. Let's go over here. There's another shaft over there. Oh boy. Yeah. This thing's going all over the place. Kind of a neat uh, copper area though again. There was track in here. There was a, a winch of some sort. A little skip track. And then the end of this drift is right here. Looks like it gets pretty low, doesn't it? Yeah. This one doesn't look quite as bad. Suppose I better do it, huh? Or do you want to look at the more of this level first? Oh, let's go down here while we're here. Maybe the way they made it. They use this to slide their drills up and down. Oh, yeah. You know? I know, that's what it looks like. Came down that little mines track. Some of these little mines are pretty neat. This just came down about. Well, I'd have to look to behind me to get a good estimate. Not real far, maybe 75 feet, 100 feet, maybe. Nice gobbing right here, man. Guys were rocks, masons. Where they could stack stuff. And this is looking back up. A lot of round. 
on posts for timbering. That's holding a lot of stuff back. Here's the beginning of the skip ladder again, skip track. Goes that way about 20 feet. Plenty of rats in these mines. And that's back up. Okay, we're back to this first intersection where we took a right. Now we're going to take another right. And this is the uh, hoist brackets or braces. I'll try not to get crushed. Is that a carbide can right next to you? No, you can look at it. It's a Union Carbide on it? Yep. Carbide. Okay. And another top right next to you, too. Don't see anything? Um, I can't read it. You toss it up there. Oh, yeah, Union Carbide. Nice you need carbide. Toss it up here. How's the luck? It goes down, it keeps going down. Is it too steep? No, it's just... Yeah, it's... It's what? Pretty low. Yeah, I see that. Oh, I can see the end of it. I'll take a little video. She says she sees the end of it. Really? So I came from up there. I want to show you the lagging on here. Look at it. It's um, dynamite boxes. All dynamite boxes. It's kind of cool. It just goes a little ways down here and ends. So you can see the end. Looks like the uh, track ties are still here. Apparently this is it, huh? Yeah. Well, it was not too bad for what we expected, actually. This is part of the vein material that's out on the waste pile. Some nice shiny in there. I'm guessing it's pyrite. Pretty neat. Well, goodbye, little waste pal. You were a fun little mine in a beautiful canyon here. This area is just strikingly beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. For desert mountains. 
We're in the Mojave Desert, technically, I think. Well, here's the boneyard. These look like they're mostly from the 40s, don't they? With those little rear windows like that. Some are upside down. People have been scavenging parts, I think. They're all spread out over here. Looks like a truck down there, a truck cab. Lots of junk. There's a big fender and a running board off of something. A desert junkyard. Somebody's got these things all stripped out. Engines, drivetrains. Well, there's the stove. Here's the refrigerator. There's the stone cabin foundation or walls. I think there's another one over that way, maybe two more. This one's still got a couple of walls standing. Looks like they might have had a little mortar in there. Doesn't it? Yeah. This is fairly spacious. I wonder what they use in there if it's cement or... Yeah, it looks like they mixed a little concrete. Yeah. 16 by 36, I pasted it out. That's part of a radio tuner, isn't it? I think that's what those are. Let's go over and look at the next one. There's another little stone wall cabin. Not as big, that looks square. That's probably about, what, 16 foot square? Something like that. Alright, let's go back down in the gully over here and look at, there's a couple old trucks. What's left of them anyway. Let's go see what they look like. I wonder why there's so many cars out here. That's gotta be a 40 something. I'm not an old car expert, but. It had a, uh, a top, convertible top apparently or something here. Not very big, is it? No. 
at least one truck down here it looks like. We're always digging around some scrapyard somewhere aren't we? Yeah. This has got some color on it. The fenders are there. Huh. I wonder what that was. Uh, had running boards. It's hard to say what that was, isn't it? Well, that looks like a little truck cab, doesn't it? But where is the frame? Boy. Some animals piled a lot of sticks in there. No idea what this is. Nothing on the glove box. Well, there's the bed of a pickup. Is that the same color as one of those up there? That yellow? Here's an old, looks like a carbide can. Here's another fancy can. Uh, it's got the top kind of scalloped. Five gallon fuel can probably. Here's the firewall off of something. Hey, this has actually got a badge on it. Hold it up one to you. Not sure what that's off of. Let's see what this badge says. It doesn't say anything. Does it? Yeah. It doesn't say anything? Oh. There's the pickup bed. Had some wood on it at one time. You can still see one piece there. Well, might as well finish off over here with these. What's that little box from? Huh. That's interesting. Need your Bonnie and Clyde mobile. Look at those big fenders. Some of these fenders are probably still usable. This one's on its side, obviously. I don't know what it was. It's it's always really hard to tell. I can't tell these anyway, but it's always really hard to tell when something is on its side or upside down, what it is. That one was a convertible again, too, it looks like, doesn't it? That one? Yeah. This one was a hard top. Well, I think they're all history now. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.